House Democrats are investigating an accusation from a White House official that the Trump administration overruled dozens of security clearance denials. Some of the names on that list are very well known. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has specifics tonight. According to the letter, the Democratic chairman of the House Oversight Committee is threatening to issue subpoenas if the White House fails to make records and witnesses available after a whistleblower, Tricia Newbold, claimed the administration overruled at least two dozen security clearance denials. Congressman Cummings also released a memo documenting the complaints that, according to the whistleblower, the individuals had a wide range of serious disqualifying issues from foreign influence, conflicts of interest to financial problems and even criminal criminal conduct. The president's son-in-law and advisor responded on the Ingram angle. We've been very fully vetted and, uh, you know, totally vindicated on all of these things. So for us, it's definitely been a complicated time in service. Everyone makes all kinds of accusations. Democrats want records for current and former administration officials, including John Bolton, Michael Flynn, Jerry Kushner, Ivanka Trump, John McEntee, Rob Porter, among others. The whistleblower alleges the White House stopped credit history checks and allowed a high number of interim clearances saying, quote, I would not be doing a service to myself, my country or my children if I sat back knowing that the issues that we have could impact national security. When the clearance story broke last month, a senior House Democrat alleged a pattern. I think it was an abuse of power. Look, the president has a right to do a lot of things, but he can abuse his power in doing that. But Republicans say the Democrats played games, interviewing the witness early Saturday morning, providing Republicans with no opportunity to prepare. The committee's ranking Republican said the whistleblower had a hard time naming names, and one alleged clearance violation included a janitor at the government's office space and supplies agency. Those aren't real investigations. Those are fishing expeditions. The president has absolute authority to grant a clearance to whom he thinks will give him the best advice to do what's in the best interest of the United States. During the Obama administration, critics questioned whether senior aides to Secretary of State Clinton should have been granted sensitive clearances. In addition, the clearance investigation backlog is a long-standing issue of concern for both parties, Brett. Catherine, thank you. That full interview with Jared Kushner on the Ingram Angle tonight, 10 p.m.